Uh, hello, I'd like to talk about matrix port today. So um, actually, I'd like to talk about several different kind of matrix port. So for example, matrix port. So of course, include the, uh, okay, the most, I guess the most basic one that everyone knows. Um, just if I have A, B, then it's like uh, the port of A, B, and uh, I also like to talk about Hadamard port. That basically is just like uh, element-wise uh, port, and uh, not to uh, to cover about the conical. Let's see how to put on that. Conical. Spell this one, yeah. Connect uh, ported, that's the uh, tensor ported, and also the three wheel wow ported. And uh, I also like to talk a couple like identities like, for this uh, different ported. So, first, I guess I often know about the matrix ported, I just a review, I guess, I, when I have uh, A, B, and A times B, uh, the IJ element of that is just, a, if I think of like A is the IJ element, let me say, say it's AIJ, and the IJ element of B is a BIJ, then A, the IJ element of A, uh, AB will be AIK, BK, J, sum over K something like that. So or if you think of like we have two matrices here, it's like A, and then let's say I have a matrix here B, then the IJ element of A times B will be the uh, I row here of A multiplied by the J column of K. So the multiple will be like a dot product of this this uh, row here with this column. So therefore we need to make sure the dimension of matches uh, with one another. So for the uh, the second dimension, I mean the, if I have A for example, like you say M times M times N, and then a B has to be N times say L. So this dimension here has to match uh, with one another. So this is just a matrix for the Okay, next I uh Hadamard port is really simple, it's just say like if I have A B the IJ element okay uh actually maybe I should write uh that's by the way the rotation for example like the uh for the mm, the long regular regular matrix multiplication like the rotation is pretty fixed whenever we write A B like when with no operator in the middle. Um it's I, I think like everyone might like this. Like it's basically matrix matrix multiplication, but for this rest of this part, I say like, um the notation is like not very much uh unanimously uh, used among all the um all people. I guess like uh, so, uh, we have to be really careful. But here I will just use uh, star to for Hadamard ported. And for conical part, I will use a, a course, but with a circle, uh, and closing that. And for catch rail well part, I will have a dot, and then I have a circle and closing that. And uh, for Hardman part, it's just a, a element wise part. So this is a really uh, element wise part. So, and uh, so it means that if I have a star b something like the ij element of a star b will be just the ij element of a multiplied by the ij element of b so that is uh, extremely simple okay for the conical order uh i guess um it's easier to show it uh, to to um to explain that with an example let's say if i a is a a11 a12 a two one, A two two, just a two by two matrix. Let's say B is I like just something. Oh, okay, maybe again like B one one, B one two, uh, B two one, B two two. Then the conical part of 
a cos b here, uh, a, this circle cos b here, is a11 b, uh, a12 b, a21 b, a22 b. So I have each of these a bulk matrix is just scalar times a bulk matrix here. Uh, of course, you can expand that. Expanding means that a11 b11, a11 b12, a21. Wait a sec. A11 b21, a11 b22. So this is a this part here, and I have like that's a1 to b11, a1 to b12, a1 to b21, a1 to b22. So for this part and so on. So I if I have um, let's say if I have this uh, a matrix. So if you so therefore you see that like if I let's say if I have this a matrix is m by m here. Uh, let's say if I have this uh, b matrix is say. Uh, k by L, then the total size of A cos B will be like N times K by M times L, something like that. And uh, this is the clinical part. Of it. And uh, for catch rail, uh, I have like A circle B, so circle dot B. Uh, this is kind of similar to a clinical product, but it, we only kind of like uh, expand the dimension in one of the dimension. It's just uh, for the first dimension. So, um, more precisely, like I have A and B, like supposingly, I need to map the, the second dimension ha has to have to match. So they have to have the same. Uh, size for the second dimension. So let's say I have A here, so it's M by M, B here has to be K by M. So say, so this has to be matrix. They, they have to be the same. And uh, say I, well, what, what I have, like, let's say if I, again, like, if I had A is something like A11, A12, A21, A22, and let's say I I I write just B as a vector B one and B two something like that, then uh, the A circle dot B will be like A one one, B one. A two one B one, and A one two B two, and A two two B two. Um. And of course, I can expand that. So, if I, for example, like this B one, it says as a B one one, B one, B two one, and B two, B three one, then uh, this this part is such a vector, like uh, it's something like A one one, B one one, A one one, B two one, A one one, B three one, something like that. So, okay, this this is uh, just a just the definitions for. All these products here. So now, what what I want to talk about is say I want to mention a couple identities. Uh, pretty useful. Uh, so, and uh, that's actually the main main reason I like to talk about and uh, introduce these definitions here, and uh, especially. Like when, when we want to learn about tensors, or oh, actually by the te by the way the tensors we're referring is not the tensors in, in physics though. It's like tensors in cell processing is basically like a multi-dimensional object. Like uh, just you can think of like higher di dimension arrays. Uh, but we are not going to talk about it today. So. Um, let's start with like uh, I guess a uh, just just consider some simple uh, identity for say that uh, probably can take as exercise to just familiar with the oops I think, okay I 
find the entry and block in here a little way down a little bit lower lower here so I have let's say the clinical border of a times b and the transpose of that what, what would that be so a times b transpose I came that it would be just equal to um, basically something like a11 b I, I'll just use like 2 by 2 as an example like for a so just make it simple so but uh, obviously like uh, you, you can generalize that like maybe proved by induction to uh, show that it's true for like uh, larger size of A as well so let's say this would be equal to that like by the definition of uh, clinical product the transpose of that then if I transpose of this matrix will be like just trans will be equal to so this is basically a block matrix right will be equal to like the transpose of the diagonal of the block matrices so it's transpose of this and transpose of this and also transpose of this guy but I should move this guy to here so a12 b transpose and a22 b transpose here so that's the transpose of this matrix here and uh, and know that the a11 here is just a scalar this is a, a matrix here so I have a11 b transpose a22 b transpose a12 b transpose a22 b transpose then if we look at that what we see is a uh, this is actually just the definition of like a transpose uh, cos b transpose so it's like the clinical product of a transpose and b transpose so because i this here you see the a here uh the oh, okay i think i have typo here so this is a a21 here yeah so i have uh i have this term like 2 1 supposing it to be here supposedly it will be here but move to here so it's become a transpose and so okay so we have let me copy it here so i have basically uh, a the clinical border a b transpose is equal to a transpose clinical border with like b transpose now okay this is a very simple identity um now let's consider a little bit more complicated one so i have a b and c d so i came that like if if um if a c like the dimension matrix that means that i can pull kind of multiply them together then i will have a c this the left hand side is equal to a c multiplied by b d with clinical product um so let's again i just try to show that with like um maybe a and c are two by two so i have uh this one here so therefore like if if a and c are two by two then this guy here is a a one one b a one two b a two one b a two two b and then this, this one is a c one one d c one two d c two one d c two two d so now i just multiply them together like just a regular matrix border like so um i assume the dimension fit so that that means that i can multiply this b with d that is a11 b with this c1 d so then like i, I can just do the mu multiplication like with block matrices so then like i will get uh essentially a11 b c11 d so this guy multiplied by this this multiple uh, let me use another color this multiplied by this and then press this multiplied by this way right, to get the the first term here c two one d and then i i will have like Uh, this term here is equal to this guy multiplied by this guy plus this guy multiplied by this guy so I have a1 let me see how the color again a11 
B C one two D plus A one two B C two two D. And similarly, I have this is a A two one B C one one D plus A two two B C two one D. And then the last term is a A two one B C one two D plus A two two B C two two D. Something like that. So and, and then I. Like, you see that like remember like this a one one c one one and so on all these are scalar so I can just pull it out so I have a one one c one one plus a one two c two one and this has been multiplied by b times d and similarly for these other guys as well I say a one one c one two plus a one two c two two this is d b times d and this is a21 c11 plus a22 plus, uh, oops c21 plus bd and then a21 c12 plus a22 c22 times bd so I if you Again, uh, come back to the definition of the clinical borders. You see, is this is basically is equal to clinical border of something with B D way, and that something matrix is basically this guy here equal to A one one C one one plus A one two C two one. And so on and so forth. But if you look at this here, this is actually just equal to A times C. It's very easy to verify that. This term here is equal to this okay, this guy A11 multiplied by this guy and A12 multiplied by C21. So uh or if I just write A11, A12, A21, A22 out, oh, this is A C one one C two C one two C two one C two two the C so precisely like where where do I get this term is like this row multiplied by this column that's precisely the 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 um the um the first row and the first column element of A C O A. So okay, you want three, so that therefore this guy is just AC. So I have this is AC times BD. So therefore, like that, we have this uh, identity here. So okay, we have show this true identity now, and uh, I'm actually I can use that two to, or I use the second one. Uh, I can show that like if A consider the clinical border of A and B consider the inverse of that. So I if I assume this these guys have inverse and uh, square matrix a uh, square matrix is here, uh then know that like well, I claim that this will be just A inverse times B inverse because uh, if I have A and B multiplied by A inverse B inverse here so I use this second identity here so this will give me A A inverse cross B B inverse here and um, so this identity this cross identity here and uh, um th you you can see like this identity is something like like one 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 something like that and of course this identity will be just put in identity and the diagonal element here right so therefore we just give me a bigger identity it's just again it's just uh, equal to identity so uh therefore the inverse of this this guy here or the inverse of this guy here will be just equal to this guy so therefore i have this one here
and uh, let's see. Now I want to show something I sh uh, show self identities for the clinical part. Uh, I want to show a couple identities for the catch wheel part. So um, first of all, like uh, let's show that like this is well defined. I mean, this is well defined is that like when a one like this. Uh, it, uh, okay, why why I saying th uh, th okay what what will happen if this is well defined? What I mean is like if we want something like that, if it turns out that like I can put black anywhere, right? If it turns out that like I I uh, because I I what I want to say like if you have operated like this, there's no precedent say it's a precedent say which one I should operate this first. So this can means either something like that or something like first compute B the cultural part of BMC and then cultural part of FA with the rest so so for to show that this is well defined we need to make sure this two is equivalent it's the same thing so and uh, for catch real product because I, you know, if you remember how do we define that? Like I have a or b here. Uh, let's say uh, this is written as a a one one a one two a two one a two two, and again this is like a vector b one and b two, a column vector of b just split into b one and b two, and, and this is then this will be something similar to the the but we only expand the dimension in in the first dimension but for the second dimension so I, I mean that like we will expand the dimension column wise so uh, again like this is therefore like this guy is actually equal to a11 b1 a21 b1 a12 b2 a22 b2 so therefore you see that like uh because like the operation per column is like the same we just need to show the case like when a and b are column vectors so if like it choose say like, for a and b are column vectors then this will hold for upper arbitrary matrix i mean for a and b and c are column vectors uh, if this is this identity I, i'm sorry the identity is, uh, is true then they like, uh it will be true like for any dimensions of A, B, and C. Of course, like A, B, and C, the second dimensions are to be the same. Um, and uh, so, let's see, let, let me just again I write A1 just, okay, uh, maybe, so because it's just a column vector, I can just write A1 and A2, let's say A, just a way in two dimensions for simplicity. And like B also like maybe just uh B one and B two. And then I uh therefore like A the catch wheel part of A, A and B will be equal to A one B one something like that, right? A one B one B two and A two B1, B2, something like that. Um, is equal to A1, B1, A1, B2, A2, B1, 2, B2. Now, if I, I if now I, I apply the catch wheel part of this result with C, then I will get something like A1, B1, C, a one B two C M A two B one C M A two B two C. Now, if I compute the products in products in different order, so let's say if I compute B and C first, uh, B O C is equal to B one C B two C, right? And then A 
this circle dot like B circle dot C will be equal to A1, B1C, B2C, A2, B1C, B2C. So, and you can see this is basically the same as this term here. It's equal to A circle dot B dot C. So therefore, like this is well defined. So we, we have like, we can just write A dot B circle, uh, A circle dot B circle dot C. Uh, and this cascade of orders is well defined. And actually, uh, by the same manner, like you can you can show also uh, the clinical part that is also uh, the associative law holds. So we can we can really write like a cross circle or circle cross B circle cross C without the back because. It doesn't matter like which order we are going to do first. Okay, now let's consider similar identity of this one for the catch rail part. Um, so let's consider like a circle dot B times C circle dot D. But I need to put a transpose here, as you will see. And um, again, I, I will assume like, the dimension matches such that I can uh, I can write uh, uh, A transpose C, that basically A transpose C is defined, the dimension matches with another circle dot like B transpose D. So, um, this can be shown pretty much in a similar manner of this guy. So maybe let me quickly, again, I just go for a uh, kind of a dimension, two by two dimension for A and C. And let's say, so A is a A11, A12, A21, A22. So, and, uh, and so, and BD here, uh, let me just again uh, here. I just see like B. I will just write as like column vertex B one and B two. Here yeah, I don't care too much like the dimension of B one and B two really, but um, I only have two of them. So therefore, like, B will be like uh, have a dimension of like uh, L by two. As I say, L is some arbitrary number, and. Um, so then like A circle dot B will be, okay, will be just written here, right? A11, B1, A12, B2, and so on. If I transpose that, I have like A11, B1 transpose, and uh, A21, B1 transpose, and A21, yes, I got it. A, one two B two transpose and A two two B two transpose and this multiplied by C circle dot D here will be like C one one D one there's no transpose here and uh, this is a vector and C two one D one and C two uh, okay C 1, 2, D, 2, and C, oh, okay, I don't know why I say C, I'm going to write D, C, 2, 2, D, 2. So I multiply these two together, I will have uh, A, 1, 1, C, 1, 1. Uh, you see, like this guy, I'm going to put, okay, I guess better I can use another color. This multiply by this. Plus this multiple by this, both of them B1, D1, right? B1 transpose and D1. So I actually can pull that out right away. So it will be A11, C11, uh, plus A21, C21, and I have B1 transpose D1. And similarly, I will have here is a A11, C12, plus A21, C22, B1 transpose. 
e2 and this one here is a1 2 uh, c11 plus a22 c21 b2 transpose d1 and the last time here is a1 a 2 c12 plus a22 c22 uh, b2 trans p2 transpose d2 okay and then like these guys here you see like this is i, I can write it in a similar manner like um a11 c11 plus a21 c21 it is it, it's again like some kind of um dog powder it'll be something like um uh, a A yeah, if I consider A one is the okay. Let's let's say I consider this one is A one. This is A two, just a column factor A one and A two. So this is a uh, column factor A one multiplied by the column factor C one. So if I define C one in a uh, in a similar manner, so it's basically. Uh, the inner part of them, so we say something a1 c1 trans a1 transfer c1 and b1 transfer d1 and this multiply together okay I, I can put a bracket or like this is a just scalar but and this is a a1 uh yeah a1 transpose c c c2 yeah I think it's a yeah, one sign transfer c2 and b1 transfer d D two, right? The one missing here, and a a two transpose. Yeah, this is either a two or a two trans. Oops. Uh, oops. Okay, a two transpose. C one, B two transpose D one, and A two transpose C two, B two transpose D two. Okay, so we are almost there, and uh, what you can see is say uh, here, it it doesn't look like a this guy yet, but but what what we see here is say. Uh, this one is really is just equal to a a one transpose a two transpose times c one c two. I mean, if I just look at this part here and form, I mean. Let me just undo here this line. If I, I just consider an A1 transpose C1, A2 transpose C1, A1 transpose C2, and A2 transpose C2, I pull out address at one matrix, and that matrix will be just equal to this one, right? It's just actually A1 transpose A2, C1, C2, and this is actually just AC, right? Hey, any transpose uh, C here oh actually I made a mistake <laughs> this is okay I see like okay this this is wrong here okay but it's okay the the uh, the proof is correct but my identity is incorrect so and uh, then like this guy here for the another so this is like basically a a transpose C and similarly, I have B1 transpose D1, B2 transpose D1, B1 transpose D2, B2 transpose D2. This guy is actually just equal to uh, D1, D2. So this B1 transpose B2 transpose, this matrix multiplied by D1, D2. And this of course just D matrix, this is like the B transform matrix. 
So therefore I have actually uh, you see that the upper part is a B transpose D and this this is actually just an element wise part of these two matrices as well. So I have less star uh, the Hartman border between these two matrices. So therefore this this proves the this identity here. Um so I, I have several of these identities. Let's see anything else I like to uh, and uh, and for a special case for this identity, like maybe used more often, is like if I have uh, B is equal to uh, uh, sorry C is equal to A and B uh, D equal to B. So if I consider A star A circle dot B transpose A circle dot B here, that would be just equal A transpose A. Uh, Hardman powder with B transpose B. So this this of course is just a special case of this guy here. So I guess I'm almost done with like uh these identities I like to talk about then in maybe next time or like I don't know in the future I like to talk about tensor that uh, these identities are very useful. Uh, but before I'm ending this I I guess I, I like to talk about uh uh two um two more identity basically uh for the pseudo inverse for a circle b so this is like the pseudo inverse so the pseudo inverse uh, is something like when we need to solve a equation something like a let's say if i have a circle dot b multiplied by the sum unknown is equal to some column vector d let's say then in general, if this guy is a, uh, is a tall matrix in the sense that like, uh, I have more uh, equation than unknown. So what, what I can do is say I can just first multiply, or maybe I don't use a trans a cos b here, maybe I just call this a c here. So c here. So I have like c is equal to d uh, but if I have more equation than unknown, so what I can do is that I can multiply by C transpose on both left hand side. Then now this matrix has uh, become a square matrix, and uh, if we start with this is a tall matrix, then this this will be like most likely will be full rank, and we can uh, find an inverse for that, and you know, we can multiply the inverse on both hand sides so can I like, continue I have my like, x is equal to c transpose c inverse c transpose d and this is known as a pseudo inverse and uh, so and if we have let's say a conical product of like a and b and we have some unknown like this cup linear equation and we want to solve this then we need to know the pseudo inverse of like a cos b the pseudo inverse of that and this will be like a circle dot b transpose a circle b inverse and then a circle b transpose something like that we can simplify that with the identity we know here so first of all like uh, this guy will be just equal to A transpose circle, B transpose. So I think this is pretty nice. This is uh, both uh, tough to, sh to, we want to find this pseudo inverse, but at the same time it is an exercise for to use these identities we have just introduced. Um, so multiply by this A circle B here, circle cos B here, and the inverse A circle cos B here, right? And then here now I can use this second identity. This one is always very useful, and will be like a transpose a circle b transpose b, right? And then I have inverse here, and then a circle, okay, circle cross b here. And, and then I uh, if these guys are invertible, then as we said here, like in this identity, we have like a circle, I'm uh, sorry, A transpose A inverse, 
cos b transpose b inverse, right? And then multiply by this a circle cos b. And again, like we can use this identity again. This is an extremely handy identity. Then we have a transpose a inverse a circle b transpose b inverse b, right? And uh, and know that this is just the pseudo inverse of A and pseudo inverse of B, so therefore this is just the pseudo inverse of A cos the pseudo inverse of B. So this is a uh, kind of like if we need to, so therefore if we need to solve this, then it turns out that like you find the pseudo inverse this guy is pretty simple, it's just the pseudo inverse of A and B and then have the conical product. Um, and uh, and let's see and uh, let let's do another exercise a similar exercise uh, to end this so let's say instead of like I have a circle dot so I so a circle cross B I have a circle dot B so I have to catch you real pod instead, so I want to find the the catch real pod the pseudo inverse of this guy here. Uh, let's see for this guy I I, I would just like uh, give out the equation for that. It's actually is equal to A transpose A star B transpose B, uh, the pseudo inverse of this guy times A circle dot B transpose. So it it looks a bit uh, mysterious the equation, but know that like we have this equation earlier, and we say that like we have this uh, more how uh, more use equation is a something like a transpose a star b transpose b here and you see like this guy and this guy are actually exactly the same so this give a and this this is actually the same of this guy here so it gives quite a lot of hint like uh, why we have uh, this is equal to that so uh, let's see let, let me call call this thing here C here just for convenience I, I call this guy C here so then I uh, this identity basically uh, equivalently we can show C okay this is a what uh, Ah, let me let me just wait wait one more step. So, as I said, like this guy is the same as this guy, right? So, uh, if if I can show like circle dot a circle dot b transpose a circle dot b compass conjugate oh not compass conjugate I'm sorry the uh, pseudo inverse of that times a circle dot b transpose if this is equal to this guy here then then we have to show and prove the identity so here like we, we see like we basically we just have all, all these uh i'll just have like a circle dot b as uh this uh expression in the expression here so i can just call this a c here right so this is essentially if, if we need to show, if we can show a c star uh not c star c plus or like the pseudo inverse of c is equal to c transpose c the pseudo inverse of that multiplied by c transpose then we are done right and pseudo inverse of this guy is basically say c okay I erase that way is uh c transpose c 
inverse C transpose, right? And pseudo inverse of this guy is C transpose C transpose it's basically just itself C transpose C. The transpose of because this is itself is a symmetric matrix, right? Transpose of A is just itself. Multiply C transpose C. Uh where is that? Yeah, multiply C transpose. And then I take inverse of that and then I C transpose C. Yeah. Okay, that's the pseudo inverse of this guy. And multiply by C transpose. Um, we we want to show this this is actually equivalent. Uh, I guess we are we are done here. So because I if this this is equivalent because we've multiplied this on both. I mean, if we multiply C transpose C C transpose C on the left hand side. I mean, on the from the left like for both both side then basically this left hand side, uh, right hand side would be C transpose to just C transpose C, C transpose but the left hand side would be C transpose C, C transpose C multiplied by C transpose C inverse times C transpose and this got cancelled then we have again a C transpose C, C transpose okay so, so okay we can of course like, going backward and then I like, show that okay this identity is indeed uh, true okay I guess I uh that's uh basically we talk about several of these uh, identities and I guess some maybe I don't know when like next time we may talk about kind of more use uh, uses for this like for um, when we talk about tensor so okay like I will just stop here.